Hello and welcome to another MessageBird developer tutorial. Today we'll show you how to build two-factor authentication with MessageBird's Verify API using Node.js. You can either walk through the tutorial with us here or get started now by downloading the sample application in the MessageBird developers portal using the link on your screen. So let's get started. Here you'll see a new directory already created for this tutorial project. Inside this directory, we'll start by creating a file called package.json, where we'll specify the dependencies for this project. This project uses Express, Express Handlebars, a helper library called BodyParser, and obviously imports the MessageBird SDK. Once you've defined all your dependencies, you can go to a terminal and type npm install to install them. Let's create an index.js file in the same directory as our package.json. This file starts off by including the dependencies. Next, let's enable the MessageBird SDK. To include the MessageBird SDK, we'll need to provide an API key. You can learn how to create and retrieve your API key by heading over to the related Help Center article at the link on your screen. You can copy your key from the dashboard and then just paste it into your code. We'll use handlebars to separate the logic of our code from the HTML pages. I've already created a directory named Views, and inside there's another directory called Layouts. This is the main layout, just a basic HTML page. Now, we get started with the first step in our T2FA flow, collecting the user's phone number. To set up our phone number request, we'll use a simple HTML form. This form consists of a simple set of instructions, one input field to collect the number, and a button to submit. The input field, called number, uses an input type tell, which should always be used for phone numbers, so the browser can optimize for phone number input. The submission goes to step two. Now let's get back to our index.js file. So first, let's set up our express framework and configure the dependencies. Then, let's define the route to render the first page. The only thing happening here is that we're showing our first step view. Once we have the user's phone number, we can send it to the Verify API. To do so, we'll define a new route called step two. Here, we make a request to the MessageBird SDK, the Verify create method. We provide the user's number and also specify the message template which should include a placeholder. MessageBird will generate a random token and add it to this message. Then, we have to implement a callback function to manage the response from the API. So if there's any error, it means that the request has failed. For example, if the submitted phone number is invalid, we'll log this error and go back to our step one, where we'll show that error to the user so they know what's wrong. In the other case, if the request was successful, we log the API response for debugging purposes and we render a new template for step two. The API provides us with an ID which we add to the page. Step two is a new template that I've already prepared, which looks similar to the ORI from the previous step. We inform the user that the verification code was sent and ask him to enter it here. We have a single input text for the receive token and also include the ID from the API so we can pass it forward to the next step. Now we're building what we need to verify whether the token that the user has entered is correct. So we create a route for step three where we read the input ID and token and then we call messagebird verify verify with the ID and token. Once again, we have to build a callback. If there's any error, which means the verification has failed, for example, because the token was not correct, we'll stay on step two and show that error to the user. If there's no error, it means that the verification was successful. In this case, we just show step three. The template for step three is a simple HTML message shown to the user. You have successfully verified your phone number. One final line is missing in your index.js, the one which actually starts the application. Now our application is complete. So we can go to a terminal and type node index.js to start it. 
Then we can open localhost in our browser and we see our sample application. We'll leave the design up to you. With a bit of design and UI work, here's how a final application can look from the perspective of the user. In the first step, the user enters their phone number and they click send code. They receive the verification code on their phone, which they then enter here. And if everything worked out, they see they have successfully verified their phone number. And that's it. Nice work. We've just built a two-factor authentication system using MessageBird's Verify API. That concludes our tutorial. For more guides on how to build communication solutions with our SMS, voice, and chat APIs, please visit the MessageBird YouTube channel and developer portal. Thanks for watching.